I'm Rick Henriksen, a master artisan for the Gibson Custom Shop. I uh, grew up in a small town in southeast Nebraska, Du Bois, Nebraska. I was always the kid in school that was always drawing something, you know, and the, and the teachers would let me get up and draw on the whiteboards. And my art teacher in particular, she's, she's like, Rick, you know, what are you going to do after school? You know, and, and I said, probably just be a bricklayer, you know, or whatever. And, and she's like, oh, do something with art, you know, do something with art. And I think about her all the time because she'd be real proud of uh, how it worked out. I lived in Nebraska and, and was gonna move down to Nashville and looking in, online and seeing Gibson, I thought, oh, that'd be a fun place to work. So I uh, gave him a call and said, I'm in town, can I interview? And then I said, yeah, I went over and interviewed and they asked me what I did. I said, I was a bricklayer for 30 years. Never lay, I'd never built guitars, but show up for work every day. And, I mean, they said, do you, would you want to be a binder? I said, you know, I've always kind of dreamt of being a binder. I didn't know what binding was. <laughs> they taught me how to be a binder, and uh, I did that for two or three years, probably, and then I, I moved over to Whitewood and started grading guitars and, and, and setting them up. And so I was working in Whitewood, and, and uh, I got wind that they needed a Paisley carved on a guitar. And I said, I believe I could carve if I want that if you want me to. And so I, I went and bought three chisels and took them home. And six months later, I had the guitar done. The very first one, I took it home. I drew a piece of Paisley on there. Um, and by the time I got it to this point, I could tell I was going to be able to make this guitar pretty and, and I was going to be able to carve it. Slowly, it just developed and I learned how to get one to look like it was underneath of the other one. And I just could not wait to get home from work and carve on this guitar and, and get it finished. I didn't want the excitement to just die down and end, so I said, let me take another body home and I'll carve something else. And I just found if I can draw it, I can carve it. The next thing I knew, uh, the GM from the custom shop said, do you want to be our artist? And I'm like, I don't know, I better think about it. <laughs> <laughs> they showed me around the custom shop, and plant manager, and he said, ah, here's where you'll carve, you know. They just let me run, run wild because the ideas are still coming. <laughs> People ask me what I like to carve and draw on that, and I love flowers because my mom loved flowers, and she had her whole yard is beautiful garden with flowers, and she has art out there. And if I can't think of what else I want to draw or carve, it'll be flowers. I'll start with that, or even just the curves that's all just beautiful to me and I can turn it into something else just using those curves and that all comes from my mom. It, it just comes natural. So after Mesa Boogie joined the Gibson family, a couple of those guys toured through and I was working at my bench and I and I had carvings on my um, on my bench and they come through and it's like, man, you you should carve an ant for us. I love the idea and we settled on the California Tweed because it, it just had the best carving opportunities, I thought. And, and uh, I said, what do you want me to carve? And they said, it's up to you. So I started drawing flowers. <laughs> I had the amp done and, and, it, and it was just like I was thinking and I decided that. And so I, I wanted this guitar to match it. I'm working on this project for five months and I'm still excited every day when I come in and sit down on my bench and I start carving. And I'm excited when I go down to finishing and we burst it and I get to see it for the first time with everybody else. Even right up to the very end when it's all put together, I'm just as excited as anybody to see it done. Everybody has a part in these guitars. And I am just as proud of them as I would be if it was all me. I mean, I'm probably more proud that it's the whole family.
And these guitars are all playable. There is good mojo in them start to finish. I mean, there is nothing in these guitars that wasn't made from pure joy. I played Gibson before I ever worked for them, and so I, I really loved the guitar. And then to have a chance to finally combine art and what I have in here, you know, I have freedom to let whatever's in there out, you know, and it, it just does not get any more exciting than that. I, I'm the luckiest guy in the world. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's just true. <laughs>